In this video, I want to talk a little bit about crude oil. Now, before you run off and think, hey, crude oil is too big of a market for me, I'm not going to trade that, this could be one of the greatest opportunities uh, of our lifetime, honestly. Um, you know, this is, a, this is a market that is completely and totally depressed right now. And it's not like a stock that could go out of business. It's not like crude oil is going to go out of business and go to zero. Now, we've talked about crude oil in the past. And uh, I want to tell you, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can invest in crude oil. So if you think that the futures market is a too big of a market for you and you're not interested in trading it in the futures market, I know there's a bunch of people out there who have futures accounts. The futures market would obviously be the, the choice for you. There are other people who only have stock accounts. I'm going to show you in the stock market how you can invest in oil. And then I'm going to surprise you with something. And I'm going to show you a way to get into oil almost in a penny stock style. Okay. So again, crude oil can't go out of business, okay? But uh, the prices are certainly very depressed right now. And there's, is there more downside potential? Obviously, there's always more downside potential on everything that we buy and sell, right? But at this point, this is about as good as it gets, okay? And so this is why I'm making this uh, observation. I don't want to call it a trade recommendation, but it's an observation and you can take with it what you uh, will on the uh, on, on how you want to react to the information I'm about to provide you with. So again, I'm going to show you three different ways to take advantage of crude oil. First of all, we want to just talk about why crude oil is down so much. Well, obviously, the Corona thing has caused the the depression of the of the entire financial markets and and the whole economy. Right? I mean, it's it's depressed everything. Uh, and one of the biggest consumers of crude oil or gasoline is the airlines. Now, airlines are not flying. So, you know, the markets are very depressed in that way as well. Uh, the military, uh, the U.S. military is the single most largest uh, consumer of crude oil. And, you know, there's no wars right now that we're <laughs> running tanks all over everybody's uh, houses or anything like that. So the, the, the wartime effort is, is a little bit down. But nonetheless, the, the military is still out there cranking away with all of their boats and ships and tanks and everything. And they're still working. And so uh, they're still consuming crude oil. But nonetheless, we've got uh, another uh, fundamental issue that's driving the price of crude oil down. And that is that is that Russia and Saudi Arabia is are in a kind of a pissing match right now. And so they just keep dropping prices down, dropping prices down. And we've talked about this in past videos, and so I'm not going to belabor that uh, because I'm certain that you've probably watched those videos in the past and you understand that that's what's happening. But this looks to me like we're coming into a bottom. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the seasonal nature markets. And you say, well, and you know, we mentioned this in the past two seasonal markets. What are you kind of be talking about seasonal markets right now for? Uh, the seasonal nature of market, this is not a normal year. And generally, we always say that we watch the seasonal nature of markets uh, for a normal year. And this is far from a normal year. But we still have the underpinning the pressures of the fundamental nature of markets. And, and crude oil uh, generally rises during this time of year. And you can see right here on this chart, uh, March 17th is usually the low, uh, you know, or somewhere around here. This is an average, of course, but this is an average price of when prices bottom out and start to rally going into expiration uh, here in the May contract anyway. And so this is uh, an opportunity that I'm going to say is one of the greatest opportunities that we're going to have in our lifetime probably to be able to, to, to load up on crude oil. Now, all of you know that I love crude oil. Crude oil is one of my favorite markets. My uh, Growing up as a kid, my dad's company, uh, he was self-employed and had a business, and the name of his company was Turner Oil. I mean, you know, we've been in the oil business our whole lives. I don't know anything other than the oil business when I was growing up. That was it. That's what we did. And so uh, we love to follow the price of crude oil, and I've always enjoyed uh, trading crude oil. And so this is one of the greatest opportunities that we're going to have uh, in the crude oil market, you know, in recent history anyway, uh, during my trading career, uh, as far as I, I believe. And so what I want to do is I just want to, want to point out to you a couple of places that you can go and take advantage of this market and jump in on it as well. Uh, so we want to maybe buy some options if you're out here on the crude oil uh, market on the futures market or maybe pick up a contract or two. However you want to feel like is the best for your portfolio and your uh, risk tolerance uh, to get into the crude oil market. But just to price out an option, this is a 22-day option. You can see it's about $3,000. So to put $3,000 in at the money option, um, you know, that's, that's not such a bad price. That's only for the next 22 days. If you want a little bit longer time frame, just go out to the next contract out and you'll find another option out there. But just real quick, we just come in here and buy this. You can see at the money. And we're going to be about $3,000 and the spread on it's about 50 bucks. So you just go ahead and place the order. And now you have yourself a 
uh, long position in crude oil. If you want to do two, three, four, five of them, however many you want to do, it's up to you and your portfolio. I'm not making any kind of individual recommendation, but uh, this is generally a great time to be getting into crude oil. Crude oil prices are significantly depressed. And if the economy starts to come back and we start flying more airplanes again, Donald Trump wants to open up the economy here in a couple of weeks, this might be a great time to start loading up on some crude oil. Now, for those of you who think that, hey, this is too big of a market for me, I don't want to do it in the in the futures market, uh, this is the, the purest form of purchasing crude oil right here on the futures market. This is the best way to do it. Now, let's say that this is too much for you and you have a stock account and you want to do it over in the stock market. I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you the stock market side, okay? So let's go and jump over into the stock market. Here we go. Bring the stocks version up. And then this, of course, looks, you know, very much the same way. So this is the, the crude oil market in the stock market. Now, this is USO is the symbol. And you can see it's trading at $5. Now, that makes it a lot easier for somebody who's trading uh, in the stock market to pick up some crude oil shares, right? You come in here and you just come in here and trade and you say, oh, I want 200 shares. That's 1000 bucks. You hit buy market and you're in with a couple hundred shares. You've just invested $1,000 into crude oil. Now, if it goes down, what do you do? Well, it's only at $5. Look at where it's been traditionally speaking. If we come in here with the RAF and just get the standard deviation of this market, you can see the standard deviation of this thing is on, on average $11. And it's currently trading at 5 So, you know, there's a lot of upside potential just to get back to normal range prices. And that would be a nice trade. And you can hang on to it forever because it's not an option, right? It's not going to expire. And maybe you say, well, $1,000. Maybe I want to do that again. So I'll put a couple thousand dollars in there. Now you got two, 400 shares long crude oil at this price. So very easy to do it in the stock market as well with USO. Now, let's say that that's even too much for you. Maybe you're, you've got a smaller account and uh, you want to do something even, even smaller than this. Okay, let's come over here and I'm going to show you another stock, uh, an, an ETF in here. It's, uh, it's called UWT. So we're going to come down to UWT. It's the Velocity Shares 3X Long Crude Oil ETN, and it's linked to the S&P uh, Crude Oil Index. All right, so this is, let's just, again, run a RAF on here. We're going to come in and we'll just draw uh, just from the, what's on the screen, just kind of the average range of this thing. And if we just come out here, we can see the average range of this thing has been before the, the massive drop is around $11. Now, look at this thing. It's trading at $0.24. Cents. Okay, so if you got a small account, you want to invest, you know, there's buy one. We just invested. There's no commissions, right, in the stock market if you're trading through track and trade. So um, there you go. You just invested 24 cents into crude oil. So you can start very small and feel like you can start to build your portfolio if you want to. If the market starts to go against you, nothing wrong with just buying another one. Now you're in with 50 cents and the market's still going against you. Buy another one, you're now in with 75 cents. So you can do it at whatever level you want. Now, do you want to be down here p trading the, the, the penny shares or you want to come to the USO, pick up some shares in the stock market, or you want to put on your big boy pants and come over with us into the futures market and pick up an option or pick up some contracts here on crude oil in the futures market. All right, guys, that's just a quick insight into what we're thinking here with crude oil.